What's going on guys? So I just got done with an arm workout. Um, I'm currently watching Alberto Nunez, which um, is a natural bodybuilding um, kind of guru, if you will. Um, kind of really knows his stuff, and he's one of the kind of guys that I look to when I'm um, looking for advice and that sort of thing in the bodybuilding world especially. So just watching that live stream there. If you guys would like to, me to do more live streams, if you want me to set up some specific time on Instagram, I would love to do that. Um, you can kind of leave some comments below on what you would like to see on a live stream. If you want to see me doing some workouts, making a meal, or things like that, let me know. But um, getting to the topic of the video, I'm going to be talking about that arm workout that I just got back from. Um, I'm doing the commentary right now for you guys, and I'm going to kind of talk about the workout itself and just some other things that kind of come to mind if there's anything that does come to mind. Um, while I'm doing that so I haven't actually put the clips together yet But I'm gonna kind of look at the clips individually and kind of go over the workout itself Just to kind of give you guys an idea um, on key form ideas things. I'm thinking about during the workout um, This is gonna be an arm workout arm and shoulders actually I do throw a little bit of medial delt work in there Not anything else just the medial delt so basically guys I started out with just um, two sets of push-ups and pull-ups so I did 15, uh, about 10 to 15 push-ups and about 8 to 12 pull-ups on each set, just two of them. So I'm not really looking for anything here um, in terms of muscle growth, not looking for anything, just warming myself up. So I like push-ups and pull-ups because I like staying eff eff efficient, if I can talk, um, in my body weight movement. So just want to make sure I can keep doing those, staying progressive. Um, staying uh, progressing in those movements and getting better at them so as I'm adding muscle on I've noticed that I do kind of reduce um, my ability to complete those body weight movements but if I stick to them and stay consistent with them um, I've noticed that I've definitely been able to keep that strength as I put on more weight so being that I'm lighter right now if you saw my last video I'm feeling better now I'm back up to like last night I was with all my clothes on I was 159 but that was with all my clothes on a sweatshirt sweatshirt um, sweatshirt and sweatpants but this morning I was on 157 with that same thing on. So I'm assuming I'm around 153 or 154, which is right where I want to be. So back to what I was saying, my push-ups and pull-ups definitely feel a lot better being lighter. So that's kind of what I wanted to get at there. But um, after that, I worked on just a cable straight bar curl. So I'm really focusing on getting my blood flow um, to the biceps, to the tricep. Um, I believe I did a rope um, uh, tricep extension after that, just straight down. So I did 15 reps on the first set. And then I kind of tapered down to um, 12 to 15. So some sets I did get all the way to 15. Um, but I did three sets total. So I did three sets total of each of these exercises today. And it's going to be pairs of two. So supersetting the biceps and triceps together. And then I paired um, two shoulder exercises together um, for the medial delt itself. So it's kind of the gist of the workout. But um, like I said, I'm going to give you some key tips. I'm going to throw the clips over me talking right now. So it makes the video a little bit more interesting. But um let me know if you like this style of video too. Please comment more guys. I really like your comments and I really like the cohesive comments that actually have substance to them that give me ideas, give me feedback on the style of video. And um, I don't know, I just like hearing from you guys. That's one of the major things I like about doing YouTube, the interaction and just kind of talking to new people and meeting new people and ultimately just getting new ideas that might help myself out. And I'm trying to obviously help you guys out along the way too. So that's kind of what I did for the first set so really just trying to get some blood flow there I'm not using ultimately that heavy of a weight for either of these exercises I'm really just focusing on actually engaging the muscle group and focusing on actually squeezing through the rep making sure that I'm using my biceps and using my triceps and not having other muscle groups take over so that's kind of what I'm focusing on in this first exercise really just trying to get started get the get the feel of the workout and just kind of get um, the muscles warm so after that I did um, a neutral grip hammer curl with dumbbells So I'm really focusing on lowering with the negative really slowly getting a good stretch and also just focusing on squeezing at the top too That was paired with an overhead tricep extension So I'm really focusing on keeping my core tight so I'm not getting ripped back But once again, I'm getting a good stretch on the way down and just focusing really closely on getting that mind muscle connection to my triceps so that's what the focus of the workout was on. If you can't already tell, I'm kind of redundant here. But just really focusing on that a lot. A Julian Smith, who if you guys follow on Instagram, he's an Optimum Nutrition and a um, Golden Aesthetics athlete. Um, got a ton of great videos on just focusing on the stretch, focusing on the contraction of each exercise. And I feel like that's a lot of times something that a lot of people forget and neglect. And when you can really just drop the weight a little bit and focus on the form and make the exercise a lot harder than it would be even with heavier weight. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. But 
the next exercise we did, um, I believe we actually kind of moved positions in the gym. The gym that I'm at here is um, a really nice new gym that has a ton of different area to go around. So you actually see us in like three different areas of the gym in this video. But then we moved to um, shoulders. So I did a rope with a rope attachment um, on the cable, um, uh, upright row. So I'm really driving my elbows up here, focusing on keeping the tension on that medial delt. You'll feel it a little bit in your traps too, but I really want to focus on the, the, the delt being the main mover um, of the upright row. So that was like once again three sets and I paired that with just a dumbbell lateral raise so here I believe I was doing 12 to 15 reps as well and um, I was kind of shooting a little bit lower on those just more so the 12 reps just because I was going a little heavier on these so um, if you guys forgive me I'm kind of looking over here because this is where the clips are at so um, that's kind of why I'm looking this way but after that guys we did um, our three sets there and we did a um, neutral grip so neutral grip at the bottom and then swing up to a pronated grip um, or a supinated grip excuse me um, which is basically just means your palm up so I was coming if you guys can see I was coming from here neutral up to a supinated grip so as you guys are seeing in the video um, that's really what I like to do to kind of um, just get a little bit heavier on the curl since you're working each individual arm um, separate it allows you to go a little heavier and focus on the squeeze of each rep and um, just allows you to take your time and go a little heavier rather than keeping it supinated the whole time um, a lot of you might say that keeps um, that takes a little bit of the tension off which I completely understand versus if you kept it supinated the whole time and just kept going um, but like I said, I was trying to get a little bit heavier there, um, but I was still working on the form, still controlling the negative. So for you form police out there. The next one we paired that with was just a close grip bench. So with the barbell, um, I wasn't going inc incredibly heavy. I started out with just 225s on each side. So that's about 50 pounds on each side, just over 135. So it's 145 on each side. Um, did 12 reps there. I was pretty heavy and I was kind of smoked by the end of the workout. So then I actually dropped it to just a 25 and a 10. So that's 35 on each side. I think that's like 115. So really not that much weight altogether, but I was really just trying to make sure I was using my triceps because I wanted to use my triceps since it's an arm workout and not my chest or my front delts, which tends to happen when I do close grip. So um, it's kind of funny in the long haul. I used to have trouble getting my um, chest and my uh, front delts to work on my bench exercises um, and especially on my close grip because my triceps were so strong and now I've kind of evened that out which is a good thing but um, it's just kind of funny how things work like that but um, I then finished with just a um, another superset for the shoulders um, I did an upright row with the easy bar so the easy bar curls um, easy curl bar excuse me um, I did uh, 12 to 15 there with three sets in mind and three sets um, of each arm 12 to 15 on a cable one arm lateral raise so holding onto the bar there driving that elbow up just trying to keep the tension on that medial delt um, and also just really trying to focus on not letting that front delt take over because sometimes when you're in front of yourself you'll see people actually use the cable behind their back um, a lot of times people like that more just because you can get the medial delt incorporated a little bit more and that front delt doesn't really take over as much as sometimes when you do it in the front so that's all preference kind of feel it around um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is just a quick video. I wanted to kind of get back to my YouTube grind and get these videos out for you guys. And hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you can find some of these tips helpful. And if anything, you can just try the workout and um, let me know how it goes. Hopefully I explained it well enough so you guys can kind of write it down. Um, I could throw it in the description um, if that's something you guys want, but let me know. Comment below. I love comments, guys. Like I said, I like hearing from you and I like hearing the feedback from the videos. And um just seeing what you guys like and see what you don't. So be honest. I like it. Um, but yeah, have a great one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, too. That really helps me out. Um, share it with your friends if you think they'd um, find this video helpful. You can try the workout together or something like that. But I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. And um, it's probably Monday, the beginning of the week. So have a good week. So have a great 2017. I'll be seeing you very soon. And peace out.